I'm River Bay, and welcome to my gun kingdom. So this is the Armor Light uh, Super SAS uh, 308 sniper rifle. And uh, now I've done several videos um, here on my channel. And if you want to watch the full review of this, uh, gun, I would suggest watching the first two videos. Um, I go over the specs of the gun. But anyway, I, the only modification I did to the gun was, of course, I added the bipod and the scope and uh, this is in mil rads too and we go over that in the second uh, video too and we'll go over it again today too but uh, we're zeroed at 100 and this has the zero stops so it's, it's a real nice scope but i the only modification i had done um, the gunsmith did was uh, change out the trigger for me to a uh, nicely uh, super tricon uh, two-stage trigger so it has about a two pound pull first stage and then uh, two pound on the on the second stage so I have some steel mags with me and it, these are great for SHTF scenarios and also this gun is is one of the best uh, long-range rifle I uh, have in my arsenal for SHTF so this is the one that I highly recommend for long-range firing but anyway um, we're going to the first two videos the first video I zeroed this in at 100 yards and then the second uh, video we needed to practice and I talked about how you have to practice to be a better shot because uh, this gun is amazing um, it outperforms me it outperforms pretty most of all of you um, except for maybe a few of you out there that practice all the time and you would able to do the groups that this gun is capable of doing um, it's it has a maximum range of 1,000 meters which translates into 1,000 93 yards. Now, it, at that distance, it, it's capable of doing half-inch groups. But that, that's, that takes practice on our part as the shooter. And so what we did on the first video, uh, we, we zeroed it in at 100 yards. And then if you find that second video, you'll see where we went to the 200 yards. And that's what I recommend. I, don't, I recommend doing it in steps. So 100, 200, 300, 400, and so on. And that way you don't move out to the next 100 yards until you're good at the, at the one that you're working on. So try to get those half inch groups and keep practicing. So if you're not doing too good at 200 yards, which I wasn't doing that great at 200 yards, so I would want to go back and keep working. But I wanted to do, a, I wanted to do another video at 300 yards. And that's the max we can do here um, at, at this range. So that's all we have available to us here. So anyway, these are um, steel construction uh, mags, and I think this is, this is a lot better than aluminum mags, and that's what I highly recommend. They're a little more heavier, but you know, in an SHTF scenario, that, that's what you want. You don't want these mags to fail you. So um, in the second video, I, I showed you how many. When I bought this firearm from a guy, he um, sent me a whole box, it must have been 20 mags steel mags in that box and so i was slowly working through them to make sure that all of them work and so I, I still have more to go but i brought these ones with me today so it would slow us down and um, but i wanted to get firing this gun and um, show you what what it's capable of doing or what we'll try to do anyway it's a heavy gun uh, like i said it's a it's a sniper gun it's not a combat rifle for sure um, and uh, you know it's um, it, the safety's on the other side. I did find one, this one, in particular without the forward assist because with this heavy bolt carrier group, um, you don't need a forward assist with this gun. This this gun is super strong. It's built like a tank, so it, it can handle uh, it can handle it. So you know it's this perfect setup. And when we work with the scope today, when we get ready to fire it you'll notice that it's going to be easier uh, than MOA since this is uh, MRADS. So it's much easier to understand. If you have to memorize the numbers, you can do it so much easier too. Now you can download an app, and I downloaded uh, Horton D app for the ballistics calculator on this. 
But you have to make sure um, when you go to it that you select MRADS because it automatically defaults back to uh, MOA. So you always have to make sure. And what you do is I, right now I have dialed in here. I don't think you can see that, but I have dialed in here 300 yards. And I put in the feet per second. And this ammo that we're going to be firing, uh, the 308, uh, it is 2660 feet per second. So you dial that in. You can put your winds in. We don't have to worry about winds today. So we don't, we don't dial anything in on the winds. All right. So if I went to uh, edit the variables, it would ask, I would check to make sure my feet per second are correct, or I, I would make sure my feet per second is correct, which is 2660. And we've got, um, we got it zeroed at 100, and the twist is 10 inch twist, okay, and the sight height is one inch. So I just took a guess at that. You can see how close that we got this scope to the barrel. Um, I, I really like the setup on this. Um, really works great. So the only thing bad about using your phone, um, and I suggest for an SHTF rifle that you memorize all the uh, um, the distances, and you'd have to have a range finder, of course, too, um, so you'd know what the range is. Otherwise, you'd have to be a good guess. Um, but here we know this is 300 yards, and then the one on the far right over here that you might be able to see is 200 yards. So um, these are set up exactly uh, for those yardages, but you know, in order to, to do something like that, if you didn't have that um, in the field, you would have to have a range finder. And another thing that I don't like about the phones um, in an SHTF situation, the first thing that's gonna go down are the cell towers. So I would suggest you know, for a, a backup radio that you have a CB radio. And I, know, I know it's old school, but um, I have a CB radio in my truck um, in case I don't have any cell phone reception. Okay, so that's one thing that I would do uh, to cover yourself there. But anyway, what we'll do is we'll get set up here. I'll walk down there, set up the targets, and uh, we'll get shooting at 300 yards. Thanks for joining me. This is a Valdata scope. It's in MRADS. And so the first thing we want to do um, is go to the app here on the phone if we have it available to us and dial in 300 yards uh, the feet per second is 2660 and no no wind today so we don't have to worry about that now this is defaulted to MOA M so we want MRAD so we go over here click on MRADS hit set 1.44 so you know we can always go back to our zero which is 100 yards and the windage is set at 100 or I'm sorry the windage is set at zero okay so we don't have to do anything with the windage but we got to go up so each one of these little clicks here little marks is 0.2 okay so see where that puts us okay so let's start with the upper target here sure sights are good here. Okay. Crosshair is right in the middle of the bullseye. Here we go. Looks like our elevation is good. Put it back in safe mode. So that shows us that this app uh, that Hordendy has uh, is right on. Now there's no wind, so that was probably me that was uh, hit it left of the bullseye there, but our elevation is perfect. Okay, so let's try another shot there. We'll try to get it right in the bullseye now. 
our MRADs are 1.44. Here we go. Okay, just to the top of the right of the bullseye. I can see it in the scope. I don't need to... I like these targets. Uh, it really shows up good at this distance, so I'll have to remember that. Okay, let's try another one there. Here we go. It's a little bit lower. Yeah. See how much practice it takes to get half inch groups? Let's put it back into safe mode. We got a total of five here. Okay, out of safe. Here we go. No, it was on the right side. Our elevation is really good. Let's go back into safe here. So we got it dialed in good here. Um, all right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, so in my last video, I talked about the barrel getting warm. So it's probably a good idea to let the barrel cool down. But in, in the second video I did with this firearm, I noticed that it was shooting slightly to the right when I would uh, keep firing with the barrel warm. But once I let it cool down, then it was right on again. So we'll give it five minutes. And but when you're practicing like this, it's just good to let that barrel cool down. Let me see if it's been five minutes. <clears throat> yeah, two more minutes and then we'll have, we'll, we'll fire again here. Because when the very first shot, our elevation was perfect, and I was only like oh, a quarter inch off that bullseye on the left-hand side. Let's go down to the lower target. Safety's coming off. Lower target, right in the center of the bullseye. Here we go. See where we were here on that lower target here. Oh boy. Yeah. It looks like about a half inch off that bullseye on that lower target, so um, all right. Let's throw another one down there. Safety's coming off, here we go. Now it was a half inch slightly to the left on below the bullseye. We're gonna we let our barrel cool down again, another five minutes or so, and 
let's load another five. And let's uh, finish up that bottom target there. I didn't mess with the elevation at all. It just, just takes a lot of practice. Here we go. That was high. Here we go. Slightly over to the right and to the bottom of the bullseye, it looks like. Okay. Last one. Here we go. That looks like it's touching the bottom left of the bullseye. You waiting on the cart? I'm gonna go get the cart. Uh, so at some point I want to go down. Right oh yeah, I'm almost done. Okay. Yeah, I oh. might I might ride down with you. Here we go. Here we go. And that's it. Put it on safe. Flag in. So as you can tell by our um, um, results here with that target, um, it's just best to go back at 200 yards and practice there until you can get that real tight group that this gun's capable of doing. And, and then go back to the 300 yard range. But I wanted to do this video with you and uh, 
just demonstrate, you know, um, how far those groups get when the further you go out. So if you notice in the uh, second video that I did with the Super Sass, the groups were a little bit tighter at 200 yards, but it just takes practice. And when you get the groups really tight at 200 yards, then go ahead and move out to 300 yards, but you want to take it in steps. So I hope you liked this video. So um, hit that like button if you did, and also hit the subscribe button. Um, more future content coming up, and share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. All right, thanks for watching.